What's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel and today's video is about the things people have asked me or the things that people have said to me because I'm Native American. And let me just tell you, I get some random ass crazy uh, questions where people say some crazy things to me and <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious, it, 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 they crack me up. Well, let's get started. So, one thing I feel like almost every Native American gets asked is, do we own um, a casino? And, or, or like, do I personally own a casino or my family or whatever? And oh my, okay. <laughs> so my tribe actually does have a casino, but <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my. So, of course, you have to educate people and then you have to tell them whether, or actually, you don't really have to tell them anything, but what I tell them is no, I personally do not own a casino, nor does my family, but my tribe owns a casino and this is where it is. Now, oh my goodness gracious, I just don't even get <laughs> why people would think that I. I mean, I get it just because there are casinos on reservations, but why do you think I would own a casino? If I owned a casino, do you think I'd be living in an apartment? No. Okay. Another question I have seriously got, like, people have seriously asked me this, is if I grew up in or if I have ever lived in a teepee. No. And then another question um, I've gotten so many times is, uh, how was it like growing up on a reservation? Uh, I tell people usually like, I'm like, oh, it was terrible. I had to make my own bread, <laughs> my own flour. Just... <laughs> and then I just tell them I'm just joking. But growing up on a reservation is like growing up in a small town where everyone knows everyone and um, you're related to like 80% of the people. Oh, and it's a little bit ghetto sometimes, uh, but hey. Like the craziest thing that people have said to me um, was, okay, it was even, I remember it like it was yesterday. It was this little old lady and she comes up to me and um, I, I like, I just got done helping her out and I walked her to the door and she grabs my shoulder and she goes, the blacks think they had it worse. And it's this little old lady, like, what the heck am I supposed, I just, uh... <laughs> so I sit there and I'm just like, oh my God, like this bitch did not just ask me that, but she did. And again, that's, <laughs> okay. And another thing that a person has said to me, um, was, wow, you grew up on the reservation. You're so well-spoken. I kid you not, this was my reaction. Well, duh, I went to school. This was at my job, by the way. So I continued to help him out. And you best be believing I was a sassy little native. Uh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Who says that? Like, you're so, Lord have mercy, my God. I just don't even know, but <laughs> it gave me a good laugh, but. Still, it just showed me how ignorant people can be sometimes. But anyway. Okay, and last but not least, uh, again, there's so many other things that people ask natives and there are so many other things that people say to natives, but this has to be the biggest one that I still hear. Like, I just, I've heard it throughout my whole entire life. And it's that their grandma's a Cherokee princess. <laughs> I mean, really, really. Let's go Google how many Cherokee princesses there really were. Like, if there's that many princesses out there, how come I'm not a damn princess right now, huh? And it still baffles me. I honestly, whenever people say that they have Cherokee or like, you know, like whatever, I'm so cool with it. The only thing, again, like it just gets me that there were so many Cherokee princesses, but that's not my tea. But anyway, after all of that, although people ask ridiculous questions or they say ridiculous things to you, what I feel that natives should do is just educate people and definitely <laughs> share your experiences because 
Oh my goodness, the only thing you can do is just have a sense of humor and bless their hearts, that's all. Hey, make a YouTube video or make an Instagram video or, or something, you know? Or even do a class presentation on it. Just educate people in the mass, in the masses or shit, did I say that right? I don't freaking know. But anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video just because I had fun reminiscing on the crazy things that people have said to me and asked me. And honestly, I would love to hear all the things that people have asked you or people have said to you all. And make a video or even leave a comment down below because I want to laugh. And yeah. Anyway, all y'all have a good day and thank you for your time.